the Grade 2 Kinlock Bray chases next up. Then we've got Houston Assassin at the top for Vinnie Gerard, two and a half miles this time. Admiral Ascoli for Martellino, Artistic Rose, David Hooley, Vintage Trader, and Helter Skelter for Leon Van Rensburg. Celtic Cliche for John Morgan, Shanbury Brady for David Robertson, and Vision for Joshua Sutherland. So eight this time, then facing the starter, and away they go. Way towards the first of the fences, they've got two more furlongs to race in this one than they had in the previous one. And it seems as though we're going to get a John Morgan Gray to lead us again. And it's Celtic Cliche to lead this time as they get to the first. And over it, they all pop their gun. Pretty slow pace at this moment. And 12 more fences to be negotiated, and Celtic Cliche leads by about three lengths to. Another two greys, Admiral Ascoli and Helter Skelter. Then comes Vision and Vintage Trader. Leon van Rensburg, the only doubly represented trainer in this one. As they get to the second. And Leon's grey was a little bit slow over that one. This grey's Helter Skelter, the other one being Vintage Trader. But Celtic Cliche is now five clear of Admiral Ascoli second. Vintage Trader on the inside of that one is third as they take the ditch. And all safely over that one with Vision, just the back marker, got the whole field in his vision at this point. Now they come down to the fourth, which they will get over. Okay, and the order is Celtic Cliche in the lead from Vintage Trader second and Helter Skelter third. Then comes Admiral Ascoli and Artistic Rose with Vision having moved past Houston Assassin and Shambury Brady now the back marker as they fly over number five. And they're all over that one and all jumping well at this point. The weather is pretty miserable, as you can see. Celtic Cliche is making his way through the rain with a clear lead of five lengths to Helter Skelter and Vintage Trader together. Houston Assassins moved through into fourth. Vision has moved through into fifth. The one that's dropped back a bit is the third of the Greys, Admiral Ascoli, who's now only one off the back. And that back place position being held at this point by Shanbury Brady as they get to the sixth. A slow jump there by Houston Assassin in the green. And Celtic Cliche continues to bowl along in front past the winning post, then circuit to go. And Vintage Trader second. Vision is now just about third ahead of Helter Skelter. Then comes Houston Assassin, Artistic Rose running quietly on the outside. And what a score he's dropped to the back with Chiambri Brady. And it's Celtic Cliche who's still in front by four. Racing down towards the next fence. Jumps that one really well. All over it nicely, all jumps it well. Admiral Scully is now the clear back marker as Shambury Brady starts to make a forward move, but Celtic Cliche is the one that they've got to get to. And that one leads by four. Vintage Trader chasing in second, Helter Skelter on a rail third. Then Vision in the red and the black on the outside is fourth, with Houston Assassin trying to get back into it now as well as they get down to this next one, trying to give Vintage Yard a quick fire double. But it's Celtic Cliche that's in the lead. From Vision, who's now gone second. Then comes Vintage Trader and Elta Skelter. Houston Assassin on the outside. Chambry Brady is going to look for a gap between the Leon Van Rensburg horses. Artistic Rose is going to try and switch around the outside. Admiral Scully just becoming a little detached at the back as they race down towards the next. This is the ninth of the 13, and the leader really dived at that one and made a really bad mistake and has been overtaken by Vision and Houston Assassin. It's Vision, who's now gone on them with four to jump. Vision in the lead. Houston Assassin is second. Celtic Cliche trying to fight back as they take that ditch. Jumped it well. Artistic Rose on the outside jumped it well as well. It's wide open this one. I would say Admiral Ascoli is probably the only one that's beaten. But it's Vision in the lead at the third last. Lands in front from a rejuvenated Celtic Cliche in second. Artistic Rose on the outside is third. Then after that one comes Helter Skelter and Vintage Trader. Shambury Rady trying to run around the outside. Admiral Ascoli is trying to run on again now from the back but it's still Vision at the second last Vision jumped it well and got away from it well and suddenly opened up by two lengths to Artistic Rose on the outside of Celtic Cliche then Helter Skelter's trying to get back into it it's Vision Jockey has a little look around thinks he's only got to pop the last to take but there's still two furlongs to race and it's Vision in front from Artistic Rose and Celtic Cliche's trying to fight back Helter Skelter and Vintage trainer running on forget the rest they're coming down towards this final fence in there and it's Vision in the lead but here comes Helter Skelter 
Kills it cliche under pressure in third. Gap back to Artistic Rose and Vintage Trader at the final fence and Vision jumps it well and gets away from it well and seems to be going well enough in the lead and up towards the line. It's going to be Vision that's going to take it. Vision wins it here with a scale of the second and silted cliche and Artistic Rose and Vision Trader and Shelbury Brady and all the way back to Admiral Ascoli. Houston Assassin on the ship in the pilot at the last and it's a win for Joshua Sutherland and Vision with Helter Skelter for Leon Van Rensburg second Celtic Cliche for John Moore with a long time leader was third Artistic Rose for David Hooley was fourth and Vintage Trader for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth